I'll quickly log in here and we've got the keep me logged in button which is kind of handy if you're coming back a lot and the admin areas are typically divided into two areas you've got your list of data so this shows you all the information and you've got the page where you edit the data so this is where you can change the information going back to the list information we build everything using Ajax so at the top if I click on these category headings I can resort the data with Ajax very very quickly if I click search and I start typing in for instance shirt it will automatically trim down the data or if I start typing in 2001 it will it will get the data just as quickly there's also an advanced search in here where I can search on a number of different fields uh, and if I clear that search you can see it working with the paging as well but it's very very fast with that Ajax ability to the right we've got a note system so everyone has their own individual notes so I can come in here put some extra information at the bottom and see it very very quickly you know be able to update that at the bottom here you've got HTML report and CSV file so you can actually export this data into another system and you can also choose what you might want to delete here um, and there could be other actions here at the bottom so I'm going to click edit on one of these items there are some there are some standard fields here for editing text and and reference numbers uh, and, and our systems actually support a huge number of rich inputs from uh, HTML, money inputs, file upload and image upload with automated resizing uh, and even location based mapping inputs for, uh, for, for ge geographically locating something. Uh, th this isn't a standard feature so ignore that for now. Um, if I go down to the associated garments here, th this is an input that allows me to associate something with a number of other other things. Um, uh, so if I click add items here, it's simply a list of checkboxes. But what's particularly special about, about this list of checkboxes is that there are 640 checkboxes. Now that would be unreasonable uh, to just have in one list. So just like on the list page, these are paged and, and they use Ajax. So if there was a million items, this would still work just fine. If I start typing in vest, for instance, it will trim down the data just like before. Okay, well, let's have a look at the uh, sports category right now. This has got an extra feature that allows you to actually resort the data. So I can put netball up here near the top or I can drag it back down. And I can use, also use these arrows to move the data around. If I just click on one of these items, and edit it after a period of time you'll see an automated update appear in the top here and there it is and that's just informing me that it's saved a version of it so if I go back to the list here if I click back to hockey you can see that it says hockey AA here and that's not live data that's data that's recovered from an autosave and it tells me here it saved it for me if I just click here that will disappear all of the emails we send out from the system are automatically logged within this interface so if you've got a batch sent to send out you can actually uh, view it afterwards the, the emails are shown if they've been read um, if they've been cancelled if there's been an error in sending the email or also if they've been sent in test mode and that really completes our tour of the system hopefully what you can appreciate is we, we start a long way into the development process which means the developers really spend their time making the site absolutely perfect and bringing in your unique functionality and making it work just correctly for you rather than building some basic admin functionality. This also means you get a lot more functionality than you'd get elsewhere.